Here are a few of nature's weirdest and strangest accidents. Number 10. Glow-in-the-dark cats. What do you get when you mix a cat with jellyfish genes? Well, apparently you get these weird, although interesting, glow-in-the-dark cats. Now you should know this isn't an act of God or evolution, it's a thing. It's actually the result of some sort of odd science experiment. Researchers at the Mayo Clinic in Yamaguchi University in Japan managed to insert jellyfish genes into household cats. The reason for this unusual experiment was for the researchers to see if they could insert novel genes into cats as a means of using cats as a more suitable proxy for human diseases. Since diseases such as FIV infect cats in a similar way that HIV does to humans, researchers hope to learn more about these afflictions by studying cats. That's actually pretty twisted, but I suppose it's for a greater good. Now to be fair, glow in the dark might be a tad misleading because to the naked eye, the cats look normal. But if you put them under a special blue light, then they start to glow like some sort of alien feline hybrid. Number nine, a dolphin with legs. In 2006, Japanese researchers found a bottlenose dolphin who had extra set of fins. Not only was that a weird and surprising find, but it could be evidence that these water-dwelling mammals once had legs and roamed around on land. What? Researchers have found evidence based on samples that dolphins and whales once were four-legged mammals some 50 million years ago. They also have found that they share common ancestors with other land creatures such as the rhino. The dolphin in question was caught by a Japanese fisherman who took one look at the dolphin's hind legs and probably went, Dude, this is weird. So he contacted a local museum who in turn began doing research. Which is kind of awkward if you think about it since researchers and environmentalists often blast the practice of commercial dolphin fishing. Anyway, the researchers hope this weird find could help provide some insight into the evolution of dolphins and help clarify if indeed they did once make their home on the land, and also why they migrated to the ocean. Number 8. Octagoat Back in 2014, a goat with eight legs was born in Croatia. Obviously, anything with eight legs is going to quickly get an octa in front of its name, and this guy wasn't any different. Quickly gaining the nickname Octagoat, this guy baffled plenty of people with its extra legs. To add another confusing wrinkle to the fold is the fact that Octagoat was born with both male and female sex organs. Now, given that last little tidbit, uh, it definitely makes sense that the diagnosis concluded that Octagoat was the result of an underdeveloped twin sibling. Croatian farmer Zoran Paparic helped his goat give birth and was shocked to count eight legs when the goat first entered the world. It's not too clear if Octagoat is still alive and, well, that it's not unusual for animals like this to survive very long. Number seven, Stumpy, the four-legged duck. This interesting looking duck is known as Stumpy, the four-legged duck. No, it's not a children's cartoon, but maybe it should be. Stumpy is a duck who was curiously born with four legs. Soon after Stumpy took his first breath of air at the Warrawee duck farm in New Forest, Hampshire back in 2007, people were stunned to see he had four legs. Researchers at the University of Chicago contacted Stumpy's owner, Nick Janaway, requesting a DNA sample in hopes of learning more about Stumpy's genes. However, not long after his birth, poor Stumpy actually lost one of his legs when it got caught on a fence. Hopefully the researchers were able to get useful information by studying blood samples from Stumpy. Number six, a snake with a foot. As legend has it, Satan once disguised himself as a snake in the Garden of Eden. He did so to fake out Adam and Eve so they'd eat the forbidden fruit just as a way to tick God off. At that time, apparently snakes had four feet. But when God learned of Satan's trickery as punishment, he decided that snakes would forever slither around on their bellies. Anyways, I shared that biblical anecdote in order to say that maybe a snake with a foot that was discovered in China back in 2009 isn't really all that weird. Well, a foot might be a bit generous, a deformed and shriveled up claw might be more accurate, but it's intriguing all the same. This snake was found just kind of hanging out in a woman's bedroom. A 66-year-old Chinese lady woke up in the middle of the night to see a bizarre reptilian creature with one foot crawling around her wall. 
She actually beat the snake to death with a shoe before she noticed the extra foot. Since she knew that it was such a weird thing to actually encounter, she put the snake in a jar and handed it over to the scientific community. Snakes actually have the DNA needed to produce a limb, it just usually disappears before birth. While it's not clear whether or not the one claw would have given this particular snake any sort of evolutionary advantage, it met its match against the shoe-wielding Chinese lady. Number 5. Two-Faced Cat Also known as Frank and Louie, this two-faced cat was pretty special on a number of levels. Born with the rare condition known as Diprosopus, a condition that literally causes an animal to be born with two faces, Frankie and Louie managed to survive for a whopping 15 years. Not only is this condition rare, but the survival rate for members of the animal kingdom afflicted with this condition are usually pretty short. When Frank and Louis passed away on December 4, 2014, he did so holding the distinction as the longest living Janus cat, which is just another name for a cat with two faces. Born in September 1999 in Massachusetts to some cat breeders, Frank and Louis was taken to a vet. Hold it. Is, should Frank and Louis be referred to as singular or plural? I think it's singular? Anyways, the breeders didn't expect him to last more than a few days. Given the fact that he had one brain that had to control two faces, and given the stats on Janus animals not surviving very long, the longevity of Frank and Louis was pretty much amazing. Frank and Louis defied all odds and led a pretty normal cat life by all accounts. Number 4. The Two-Legged Dog While I'm by no means a veterinarian, I know enough about biology to understand that dogs are supposed to have four legs. And they've been known to make do with three legs when they're dealt a biological setback, but two legs? Come on. Meet this pup, Faith. She was discovered in 2002 when Jude Stringfellow and her son found the mother dog trying to smother her puppy. Interesting. They rescued Faith and her two legs and nursed her back to health. For the duration of her life, she became an internet sensation and a source of inspiration for many people. She went to doggy heaven in 2014 at the age of 12. But hold up, she's not the only one. There's also Duncan, the two-legged boxer dog. Duncan was born with his back legs fused, and on the advice of the vet, his humans, Gary Walters and Amanda Geese, had his legs amputated. Much like his predecessor, Faith, Duncan has enjoyed a dedicated internet following who finds his story and grit very endearing. Number 3. The Albino Cyclop Shark When pictures of an extremely rare albino cyclop shark began to circulate in 2011, most figured that the shark was fake. Nope. This cyclop shark was totally a real thing. The discovery of the cyclop shark was pretty random. A fisherman named Enrique happened to catch a pregnant shark in the Gulf of California. When he sliced open the shark, he made uh, what I can only assume was one of the most unusual discoveries of his life. A one-eyed albino shark, along with nine regular-looking shark babies. He promptly gave the sharks to local scientists. One-eyed sharks have been discovered in the womb before, but it's extremely rare that they're actually found in the wild. This is because these types of sharks don't survive for very long. It's still not really clear how one-eyed sharks happen. Number two, two-headed snake. As if snakes don't already freak people out enough, we now know that it's possible for a snake to have two heads. Though it's a pretty rare phenomenon, two-headed snakes have been found on more than one occasion. Take Medusa, the two-headed albino Hungarian milk snake, for example. This interesting creature is a prominent feature of the Venice Beach Freak Show. A farmer in Turkey also once found a two-headed snake slithering around on his farmland, and a guy named Jason Talbot found another one in Kansas. Apparently, these different heads can have different personalities. With the two-headed snake found in Kansas, one head was being super aggressive, and the other one was apparently pretty laid back. So how does this happen? Well, this weird phenomenon happens when twin snakes fail to fully separate at birth. While the idea of a two-headed snake may seem pretty terrifying, these snakes are actually even less dangerous. Since each head has its own brain, it takes incredible coordination for them to attack anything. In fact, the survival rate of two-headed snakes is rather low. Combine that little factoid with how rare it happens, and chances are you'll never, ever encounter one of these guys in the wild. Number 1. Transparent Frogs Remember back in school when we had to dissect frogs for science class? It was sort of weird to see everything on their insides. Well, you know what? If we had 
these transparent frogs in class, we could have saved a whole lot of time cutting. This breed of frogs are so transparent, you can see their insides. This newly discovered species of glass frogs was found hanging out in Ecuador in the Amazonian lowlands. If these guys weren't moving around, you'd almost think they were some sort of plastic toy. From their underside, they're so transparent, you can see their bladder, kidneys, and even their heart. It isn't exactly known why they're so transparent, but the general thinking is that it's some way for them to protect themselves from would-be predators. While this finding is pretty strange and fascinating all at the same time, these newly found frogs are at risk because of deforestation and the development of parts of the Amazon. In light of these findings, researchers have asserted that the Ecuadorian government needs to be more proactive in wildlife conservation. Here's what's next! It also goes by the name Pelican Gulper, and probably the coolest one of them all, the Umbrella Mouth Gulper. The Gulper eel typically grows to about two and a half feet in length. This thing is mostly famous because of its large mouth, which is much larger than its body. 